Sandra. Oh, no, ow. Please, I gotta stay here. No, not here. He's after me. He's gonna kill me. I don't care. I'm your sister. I don't care. Fuck you. Do you know what, Dolores? I am sick of only seeing you when you got problems. When are you gonna learn, huh? How many more fucked up men are you gonna get with? Please, just let me stay. No, this is my only time alone. Sunday afternoon, Vinny, he takes the kids to the park and then to his ma's. This is my only time away from the aggravation. Do you understand that? Just for a little while. And then no. I'll go. If Vinny catches you here, I'm fucked. And if Jerry catches me out there, he'll kill me. Oh, why? What dumb fucking thing has happened now? Oh, you can't stay here. Please, just for one night. And no! Vinny would never have you stay here. Look, me and him have been getting along pretty good lately, and I'm not going to let you fuck that up. Has Vinny ever hit you? Of course not. Shove here, shove there. I'll get shoved, Sandra. I'm talking about whacked, kicked, thrown down the stairs, hair pulled back, woken in the middle of the night for hard sex, insulted in a restaurant, thrown out of a car. Oh, this all happened last night, did it? No. No. He, he hit me at breakfast because, well, he's a bra fanatic and... He wears bras? No. Jesus. He makes me wear bras when we're having sex. Oh, is that all? Dolores, tell me the postman used to tie you to trees and took new pictures of you that he sold to porn on mags. Tell me he was a prick. <laughs> Frankie was nice. Frankie O'Toole. The retard his sister is a lezer and is constantly putting the moves on me. She's in jail now. I don't give a fuck if she's on the moon. Why, oh, you drive me crazy, Dolores, you really do. I, I got my own life here and the stuff you get involved in, well, that's just way above my head. All right, so are you hitching? You gotta work it out with him. I don't wanna do that. When I first met Jerry, I was so low. I felt like I had nothing. I was just dying for someone to touch my fucking hand. Then one night in town when I was feeling really bad, I walked into a bar and I see this guy looking at me and it's Jerry and I thought to myself, well, not too bad. And I forgot about being lonely and I forgot about the abortions. Do you know I'd have an eight-year-old, nine next June, and a five-year-old. <laughs> Shite. Do you imagine me with kids? No. Look, if Jerry comes home and catches me with you... But I'm your sister! Do you not stick up for me or what? Or do you hate me too? Of course I don't hate you. Then help me. Help me through this. What? Time. What do you want me to do? I need your help. I need your support. Am I supposed to put up with this because Ma did? Wait a minute, wait a fucking minute. Who says that? I am good in here. Deep down in here. We didn't even show any affection at Dad's funeral. Ah, stop. How fucked up is Will that? Will you just stop? Somebody out there. Could it be Vinny? No way. How can you be sure? Because Vinny clears his nose and his throat and lets out a lug at the size of a pond. Then he comes in. Look, Dolores, I really think you gotta get this sorted, you know? Please.